Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this equation by using substitution. Now, again, remember when we're applying substitution, what we're doing is they're substituting the value of one variable and um, in for another, for that same variable in the other equation. So you can see both these equations have a y and an x, a y and an x, right? But I need to um, take, I can only solve an equation with one variable. I can't solve an equation when I have two variables. So I need to write an equation where there's in terms of only one variable. So what I'm going to do is notice that since y is equal to, right? That means the value of y is the same as the value of negative 4x plus 8. We don't know the value of y and 4x. That's what we're trying to determine. But we know that the value of y is the same as negative 4x plus 8. So to write an equation that only has x's, I'm going to say, well, you know what? Since these two values are the same, I'm going to take this value and put it in for y, because then I can write an equation that only has x's in it. And these two y's are the same. So I can write negative 4x plus 8 is equal to 2x minus 8. All I'm simply doing is taking this value and plugging it in for y. That's what we call substituting, substitution. Now I have an equation that I can solve for x. So to do that, I'll just add 4x, add 4x. Here I have to add 8, add 8. So therefore, I have 16 equals 6x, divide by 6, divide by 6. Now, 6 doesn't evenly go into there, but um, x is equal to, goes in there 2 and a half times, so 2.5. Now, to simply solve for y, I just take this value and plug it into one of these equations. It doesn't matter which equation um, you plug it into because x is the same. But I think it would probably be easier for this equation. So I do at y equals 2 times 2.5 minus 5. y equals 2 times 2.5 is 5. That's minus 10. We're, uh, 5 minus 10, y equals negative 5. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the solution set is x equals 2.5 and y equals negative 5 for the systems of equation by solving by substitution. Thanks.